Thanks for joining me today as we create this adorable Easter card. As I've told you in the past, I keep my die cuts in these envelopes with some magnetic tape in the back. And so I'm going to pull out some of these bunnies, a big bunny and a smaller bunny. And we're going to die cut those out on some white cardstock. I've also got some gym shoes, uh, some sentiments, and I'm going to try and fit as many things as I can on that white paper to make the use out of my cardstock. And those are gym shoes, I think, and a t-shirt. And then I've got a dress, a pair of pants, and this is, I'm going to use my removable tape just to adhere everything together onto the white cardstock. The scotch removable tape that I really enjoy using with my die cutting. I'll take my Off Nova die cutting machine out and we'll get those die cuts cut out. I always run things back and forth twice. And then we'll start to pull it all apart. So there's some pants for the bigger guy. It's a dress for the little bunny. And she's got a bow for her hair and a sleeve. And then that is a hat for the bigger bunny to match what will be his shirt eventually. There's our shoes and it's actually a different hat. I thought it was a shirt, but it's a hat. And then we'll get these bunnies pushed out of here as well. Everything I cut out really nice. I'm going to also use a, a couple of stencils. I'm going to put a silicone mat over my work area because I'm going to be making a mess with some of my inks in these stencils. Those of you that watched my last card stamping video, I made lots and lots of errors and one of them was with the same stencil. So we'll see how we do today. All right, so my lighting has changed slightly. I had issues with my prior lighting, so uh, now it's a little bit whiter lighting. But I'm going to take some brown ink. This is Crumb Cake from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to just make the trees in the background. I'm not very good with cute. So these bunnies are throwing me off a little bit. I have a little bit harder time when I have to do something cutesy, but I really like these die cuts. Um, so I'm going to do with this background, which is more, more about flowers and backgrounds and things like that. So kind of in my element here with the stencils. I use the stencil a lot for my male birthday cards and things like that. And then this is the stencil I was talking about earlier where um, I made a lot of errors because I didn't cover things up. So you see I'm going to cover like a crazy person <laughs> because I ruined a couple of cards in my last video and showed you how to fix them. If you wanted to see a copy of that, I will link that in the description box below and also here at the top. But now that I've overcompensated, <laughs> I'm going to make some clouds with this Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink. Just using a finger dauber. I'm going super light on this. Later on, I'll realize that I wish I'd gone a little darker, but that's where I started anyway. And I'm going to create this pretty sun. I love this stencil set. I usually use a yellow and an orange. This is crushed curry and pumpkin pie from Stamp It Up as well. I find that the Stamp It Up stamp pads are super easy to, to ink blend like this as well with the daubers. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on the sun and then I'll come back and put some of that pumpkin pie on there just to give it a little bit of shading. And I do love this little sun. And then I'm going to put these little bunnies on there to see kind of where they fit and make sure I have all the right pieces for their outfits. I thought that was a shoe, but I think it's actually her sleeve. And I'm looking at the picture from the die cutouts I got, and it is indeed her sleeve. And this is where I realized I hadn't cut out the arms yet, because that little stub is <laughs> not their arms. So there's the little arm and then the big arm. So we'll try this all over again, because I did have to die cut those out. I'm going to take some of my Spectrum Tricolor inks. I really like these. I haven't had them terribly long. I, I'm not a very good shader of inks and so this makes it super easy on me because there's three of the same shade and so it makes it easy to make it look like you know what you're doing with your 
markers, but it's actually doing all the work for you. So I'm going to take the medium out and then outline out those ears. And so that's where it just kind of nice, looks nicer and like you, you just took a lot of time, but um, it's actually the markers doing all the work there. And their eyes are actually die cut out. So I'm pushing a little bit of ink just around the out side of the eyes, but um, you'll see later I need to fix that too. These are some gym shoes that go on the bigger of the two bunnies. And so again, I'm using just a, the lightest gray and then a medium gray to outline the sneakers. Then I take out all my greens and an orange because I'm gonna do something with this flower and there's a pot that goes with it. I'll start with the greens and I went kind of on the light side and the inside and I did darker on the outside. You could kind of do whatever you want here. I've never really liked markers until I got these markers and then they're just kind of fun to watch it all kind of come together with all the different shading and stuff. It's a neat concept anyway. And then I took this bright orange color for the flower. And again, this is the lightest of the three and the darker I put in the middle. And so that'll look cute. They'll be like handing it off to each other. So then I'm just going to assemble these outfits. So he's got a t-shirt that's purple and then he's got a sleeve as well. That's his little hat. Then I'm looking for her dress and his gym shoes. Uh, they're quite snazzy dressers, these bunnies. And then there's her arm and that's how it kind of looks like it's coming out. And then there's a little cap to the sleeve. Same with him. So then I'm just going to glue all of these on with my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, which I've been trying to branch out and try a few other glues, but I keep coming back to this one. I just love it, and I don't know why I keep second-guessing that it's not the best glue, but it's I think it's the best glue. And there I'm just measuring to see what it would look like for her to hold, because it was kind of hard to see what that arm was length was supposed to look like. So it helped to make have her holding onto something. And then this little bow just goes in her hair. It's a little flower that goes in her hair. She's awfully cute, isn't she? And then we'll start to get him all glued together. It's not every day you see a bunny with a hat on. So I thought that was kind of cute. I liked his little jeans as well. There's something too terribly difficult about this Easter card, but I thought it would be fun for us to do it together just so you can see the thought process and what you can do with different die sets and how to create backgrounds for some of these dies. And the gym shoes, not sure that they were completely necessary, but they came with it, so we added them. Then I pulled back out the background and I'm going to try and set them up. You can see that my mind is going here because they melt into that background because it's so white still. First of all, I take out, uh, this is actually something you use to kind of rip your paper and it's ripping it with a guide. And I'm just using that to create a grass line so that they have something to step on. So that'll pop that out a little bit more, give it a little bit of color in the background. And I'm just shading that in with the lightest of the screen marker. And then I'm going over it with a darker, I think this is the medium green. And then I'll shade it again with that light, lighter green. I'm doing kind of one to the side and one up and down just to give it some different textures. And then setting up the bunnies again. Still don't love how they, see how they melt kind of into that background, even if I put them against the tree. So I'm not really loving this so far. I think they're going to be cute when they're handing off the bucket of flowers to each other, the pot of flowers, I guess. But I take back out my, my stencil set and my ink. Again, it's Salty Ocean Distress Oxide. I just decide to add a little bit more blue to try and have there be just a more of a background color. And before I kind of blocked everything all this time, I didn't. So see how this goes. But again, just trying to get a little bit of color in that background so that they pop out a little bit more. Right now they're blending in just entirely too much into the background. I have plenty of clouds to give there a, a little bit more, but I'm going to just give that sun a little more brightness with some yellow. It looks a little bit better. And then what I think might help too is if I outline the bunnies with some very light gray marker. This is the lightest of the tri-colored gray. Again, I'm just trying to figure out how to get them to kind of pop off the page a little bit more since they are supposed to be the focal point. And that does help a little bit. Doesn't make them look as stark white, but that's all right. 
bunnies have a little gray in them, usually. Maybe not every Easter bunny, but these Easter bunnies will. And these markers make this super easy. And then because they have the holes for the eyes, I decided to, tr to just put a little strip of blue across the back of the little bunny so her eyes are real blue. And then I did brown strips for the other bigger bunny. And then I'm just throwing some foam tape up on the bunnies to pop them off the page a little bit as well. That'll also help distinguish them from the background. And those of you that watched my videos before, I am a big foam taper because I will be mailing out these cards so I want to make sure that they're none of the parts are going to fall backwards or anything like that. So I wanted lots of foam tape. Make sure those ears stay perky. Alright, then we'll take the backing off of all this foam tape and pop them on there. I think that looks pretty good. I make a few more of these cards and I end up shading the whole background in blue and then I just do the the clouds a little bit darker, but for my first one, which is this one is my first one, I think it came out pretty good even though the background is a little bit lighter than I think I would have liked. There's so much going on in the front of the card that there really isn't a lot of room for a sentiment on the front, but I am going to pop it onto another mat. I kind of matched it with the pink of the ears of the bunny. <laughs> I'm just going to leave about a quarter of an inch around and I'm not a big measure, so I'll just use my long bladed scissors to cut that out and then I'll put it on a card base, just a white card base. I'm just going to use a tape runner for this instead of my glue. Okay, and then I had intended to use this sentiment on the front, but because it was so busy on the front and this is such a big sentiment, it's a die cut, a die sentiment that I cut out. I really I really like it quite a bit. I just didn't have a place for it on the outside. So we're going to put it on the inside. And I did it in this pretty blue that kind of matches the pants and the dress of the bunnies. And then I'm going to fussy cut it out with my Tim Holtz small bladed scissors. These are really nice to fussy cut with. You're supposed to move the paper. I'm kind of doing that. I'm kind of moving the scissors too. <laughs> it's best if you use, move the paper because that really helps you make a nice fussy cut. I don't mind fussy cutting out. I don't always buy all the dies that match the stamps because for me it's pretty easy to fussy cut out. So because I don't really love cutesy, I'm having a hard time with this and I feel like it needs something more. So I pull out these, they're little cardboard flowers. I actually bought them at the grocery store. I found them in the craft section of the grocery store. They have a little bit of glitter to them and they're all double. So they have a foam piece in between. So they're doubled. Some of it's doubled. Like the leaves are just a single leaf, but the flowers are pretty much all doubled. So they kind of pop out kind of nice. So as I mentioned before, I'm more of a flower and background person. So this is where I got back in my comfort zone. <laughs> um, as cute as the bunnies are, are just not really my thing. So I cut a couple of these in half and I'm trying to find a place for them. They're gigantic next to the bunnies, but I still like them. I end up cutting a couple flat pieces off just to kind of fill in some of the white space. These have some foam on the back of them, but I don't trust it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue as well. And then I'll do the same with the one next to the bunny. And again, so that's just kind of pop up her little tail and just give this a little bit more dimension and something more to look at. So then I go back to the inside of the card and I figure, well, I might as well, I'm going to probably pull apart some of these, but I'm trying to decide which ones I like. This one has a flat piece, so I decided to use that one. And it's pretty purple, very springy looking. And then I decide to try and find another one that I can either pull apart or is already flat. So when I start looking at this sentiment and I'm like, that's oh, very blue compared to the flowers. So I'm still going to pull out a few more of these stickers. It was like a two pack. It had two sides. And so I found one that was a little bit more neutral, but it has a lot of glitter on it, which is nice. And then I'll just use a part of it. And I'm going to save this little piece and I end up using it with this next piece. I put it behind it, just cut it off again, but at least I got two uses out of it. And then again, I keep looking at it and I'm like, I really don't like the Happy Easter in the blue. So I had cut out several of these Happy Easter dies. I decided I'm going to do some ink blending on the sentiment itself. And I'm using two different colors of Distress Oxide, Antique Linen. I think it's picked raspberry is the other one. I'll put them all in the description box. And then I added a little bit of Salty Ocean as well just to give it kind of that Eastery feel. And then it matches those flowers just a little bit better. So I like that a whole lot more than I liked the blue. I do end up using the blue in another card, but 
thought that looked kind of cute. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. As I said, I kind of got out of my comfort zone and that's a good thing. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I do create two videos per week. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll also be notified of when I have new content come out. Usually one at the beginning of the week and one at the end of the week. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Also, if you would, give me a comment and let me know what you think of this card. Thanks so much and have a great Easter.